Hello everyone. Discord packet loss is a common problem that millions have experienced over the years. I'm a Discord server administrator, and I'm an active user spending 12 hours a day in the voice channel. Yes, I have lots of players joining in and participating in the gaming conversations daily. We have to note down several points into the account since packet loss is associated with your internet connection in Discord itself. This video will show you how to fix Discord packet loss. Discord server status. I won't ask you to troubleshoot the internet connection, and I want you to check the Discord server status. I've been here long enough to tell you that the servers face downtime, so you should check the server status. Open browser. Go to the Discord status website. The first section shows you the number of servers, and its status. You can check the API response time. There's a brief history of the past incidents and an in-depth explanation of them. Server region. Open Discord. Hover the mouse on the voice channel to reveal the gear icon and click on it. Scroll down to the bottom to view more options. Click under the region override option. Choose a nearby country, and I always select India. Make sure the administrator has selected the correct region. Then click on save changes changes saved. Disable Crisp and Discord. Open Discord, then click on the gear icon located at the bottom. Click on Voice and Damp. Video to view more options. Click on the Noise Suppression button to disable it. Make sure Noise Suppression Crisp is disabled. Enable Quality Service in Discord. Open Discord, then click on the gear icon located at the bottom. Click on Voice and Video to view more options. Click on the Enable Quality of Service High Packet Priority button to enable it. Make sure it's enabled in the program. Close the program and restart the Windows machine. Don't use Wi-Fi dongle. Budget gaming builds is a popular category in the marketplace and the majority of the gaming rigs have entry-level components. Players who are tight on the budget go for entry-level motherboards, and they don't come with inbuilt Wi-Fi Bluetooth connectivity. I purchased the Wi-Fi dongle on Amazon for less than $10, and it is worth it for day-to-day -day usage. It is nowhere near the wired connection in terms of performance and bandwidth transfer rate. Contact the ISP and ask them to provide additional cable so you can connect gaming desktop or laptop directly to the Internet.